Well, tonight a man is behind bars accused of having an inappropriate sexual relationship with two 11-year-old girls. Authorities believe there could be more victims, and our Brent Solomon talked with the St. Louis County prosecutor who's turning to the public for help. Brent. Mike and Michelle, authorities say if you know something, say something, because these kinds of crimes are often not isolated incidents. You're looking at 37-year-old Leon Bell of St. Louis. He's spending the night in jail. On serious accusations, he sexually molested two 11-year-old girls. When we see a young person that is victimized uh, by an adult, um, those, case, those are despicable acts. The prosecutor's office says Leon Bell sent a Facebook message saying, quote, I molested a child. It's the worst thing I have done in my whole life. That's why County Prosecutor Wesley Bell is asking the public to come forward if anyone knows of more cases Bell may be responsible for. Oftentimes, what we find is that um, offenders who um, um, commit these kind of acts, um, they, 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 they've done it before. Although it can be hard, child abuse experts say coming forward is one of the best things a victim can do, even if they're too afraid to tell a parent. As long as they tell someone, that can be a, a friend's uh, parent, uh, that can be a counselor, their favorite teacher at school, their coach, uh, their pastor. Sexual abuse is one of the most common cases Amy Robbins with the Child Advocacy Center sees. Those boundaries are broken and it's typically by someone that they like, love or live with. It's not a stranger. And so that really sets the stage for every relationship moving on in their life. It's why she says children in these situations must be believed and should get support to avoid the pitfalls that come far too often. Those serious behaviors end up in jail, have an eating disorder, um, take in and engage in substance abuse. All right, Leon Bell is being held on a $500,000 cash only bond. If you know of any other offenses the suspect might be linked to, you're asked to call police. By the way, we've placed the number for you to Missouri's Child Abuse Hotline on KSDK.com. Mike. Brent, thanks.